You know, one of my best friends who passed away, you know, Nazardine, beautiful brother, he said to me before he passed away, he goes, you know, Snooky, your kids are picking up so quick. They can play. He goes, use your kids. Rehearse your kids. Don't worry about those other guys that don't want to come and play. You got your kids right here. You got your band right here. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> So I hope we have a big crowd tonight. Hope like the mayor comes down. Hope there's a lineup of screaming people. Ladies and gentlemen, it's show time. Show time. Welcome to the Imperial Pub. Showtime! first walked into the center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walked Sweet. into the, the our other center, four, five, four. Tell us about it. Um, <laughs> well, I walked in and we already knew that how we were going to pick out any instrument. Because yeah. remember how we were looking at the paper? There's like keyboards, oh, drums, and so who all that stuff. First I met Shauna? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I picked um, piano, piano lessons. And then he picked drums. Well, she wanted to play drums, but... No, I, I didn't pick drums for him, I picked piano. Yeah, he oh, picked yeah. piano, too. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and, I picked, and I picked the drums, but then my mom told me to play bass. So and you picked what's kind of hard? <laughs> but then sometimes on stage, they alternate and play um, drums, and sometimes... Yeah, Koite 
I think the, t- the girls can can hold a beat down on the drums. Yeah, they change up. Yeah, know? they change up. You know, uh, nine, nine and a half years ago, when they said, I want to play, I want to try, and they all went up on stage, strong enough to hold their instruments, and, and I'd show them a simple song, and then it grew so fast. It grew, like, faster than I thought, because within a year, we were playing clubs. That's how fast it grew, because we rehearsed a lot. And they didn't mind rehearsing. When they were young, a lot of kids were playing outside. They were rehearsing yeah, they for the whole summer. Yeah. And I didn't, you know, I would do stuff like, you know, what time is it? I said, oh, it's still at 6 o'clock. Meanwhile, I turned the clock back, and I didn't tell them that. Just to keep oh. us in there rehearsing longer. Yeah, now you can't do that. Yeah, you know. That's what you did. <laughs> well, I have to, to keep you rehearsing so you can learn the songs. Because we had a show the next week. And I don't want to go in there not knowing. Uh... People call you and hire you. People hire you for a show. They're gonna pay you good money. And they heard about you. They heard you're good. And you're bringing kids down. And they're going, you're bringing kids down to the show? Like, oh, don't you got a grown up band? I go, my kids are fine. Yeah, but you know, we should have a grown up band. I go, don't worry, my kids can do it. And when I get down there, it can't be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or I'm dead, man. And I ain't getting paid and neither are they. Music doesn't lie. That's what I like about music too. Music is real. It's like. If somebody says, I can play music, then you go, well, let me hear you. Daddy's girl was written. Daddy girl's old. That song was written. That was in the 80s. Like these guys weren't even born when we wrote that song. When it's cold outside. Yeah, that's. Yeah, a cold will put when it's cold outside. Altima has a song that she's writing. Oh, she does. Yes. What's your you know song? Writing? When I kiss a boy? No. What's, the name? No. What's the name of that song? What's the name of that song? It's not No Boy or... I know that song. When I kiss a boy when I'm old enough. That's the name of the song, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have no song. Yeah, your Kisa was worth a lot. My dream was to be with my brothers and I, Blaine and Stacy. We had our own band called the Tynes Band. We went pretty far. And we almost got signed with a record deal. Uh, in Hamilton, but I don't know what happened. I wasn't involved, I wasn't the leader of the band, so I don't know what was said, but um, it didn't happen. Something fell through, I don't know what it was, because I was only 24 years old. I wasn't, I, you know, I wasn't into the business, I was into the music. Somebody else was taking care of the business, I don't know what they did. We just, we played, met people, um, met celebrities, met James Brown, he signed the book for me. You know, to Snooky in the family, Snooky in the band, keep it up. Met James Brown uh, 18 years ago, and I kept in contact with him right up until he passed away. All his band members. Eight years ago at Massey Hall, James no, Brown was um, there. It's put seven, on seven years ago. Seven years ago. You guys see that Carlton Village? Seven Nobody years ago. On that? Oh no, he's no, no. at Winchester. We were no, at Winchester. Mr. Kirtland's class. Grade three. And James Brown, after the show was over, he came. We waited for him. He come out. With a bit, you know, James Brown, man. People are waiting and waiting and waiting. And he, he goes, I gotta go, I'm in a hurry. And then he looked at Kiza and he goes, You're the guy who, was, who I pulled up on the stage to dance with me. And Kiza showed him his album and he signed it. That's James Brown's signature right there. James Brown signed the album. There's his signature here and his signature here. And, and in pen, that's James Brown's son's signature, Daryl Brown. Yeah, Daryl Brown signed that. I go, come on, Daryl, sign it for us. Goes, I know you guys. I said, I don't care. Sign it for us. You know. What, um, what did it say? What did they, what did they write? She says, ah, this is gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> Fellas, can I get up and do my thing? Yeah. Fellas, can I get up and do my thing? Yeah. Lacquer. Lacquer. Yeah. Y'all supposed to say wood. Lacquer. Lacquer. Sex machine. Can I count it out? Can I count it out? 
I can't start until you tell me I can count it off. I can't start until you tell me I can count it off. I can't start until you, I can feel that you want me to count it off. I still don't feel it. I want to feel it, baby. One, two, three, four. Get up. Get up back. Like a love machine Got to have the feeling If you know what I mean, Joseph Get it together Right on, right on When you want to become a good musician You got to study If you focus your energy on on uh, whatever your talent is. It doesn't have to be music. It can be anything. I didn't make any. I didn't do one that. Everybody line up. Quickly. Move down, move down. Black belts up front. Good kick. Hard. Good hips. Good. Good hips, Ottawa. Good kick. Aye. Aye. Good. That's a good one. Got my finger. Hey. Long legs. Harder. Hard. Aye. 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 Good. Okay, everybody get one? Yeah. Right hand back. Just your right hand back. Right. Right. Just one out. Hey, face each other. Ray. On guard position. Big key eye. Hesame. Got any points? Hey! Okay, what are we gonna call this? A little too much contact, right? A little too much, but we'll give it to him. A little too much, but they'll give it to him. How do you feel? You okay? You, you didn't feel nothing? No. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> okay, you only get three points, and that's it, and it's over. You don't, we don't go over three. Okay, two to one, one more you win, you got one, one more you tie. On guard position. Hesame! Hi! Hi! Too much contact. Too much contact, yeah. Too much contact. No points, no points. Okay, point taken away, down to one, point taken away, down to zero. Too much contact, guys. I told you that. Okay? So it's. Hi! Hi! Oi! Ski! Face me. Ray. I ref, head ref, disqualified. Contact was way too hard in the chest. Turn, face it down. Yeah, too hard. Too hard in the chest. I've seen it. Ski! Ray. Okay, stand up, Kiza. Good, strong sparring, but unfortunately you disqualified. Contact was too hard. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. You'll win, but you can't hit them. Man. You'll win. <laughs> Why are you so mean? <laughs> Who wins? Only I win. <laughs> Close. It's okay. Pardon me? Yeah, you got lucky. <laughs> So wow. next time to be a speed off. No, because I, I because I hit him in the chest one, like more more than once. Yeah, I know. Because yeah, you guys didn't even didn't even see it, so I have to I have to try to show you guys. Oh well, yeah, too bad. The refs already called it. It's <laughs> over. Can't change what's called. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I didn't yeah. see that. Oh, so you don't have to be upset. Why are you upset? Oh. 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 oh, I was never jealous. I don't know. Everyone gets jealous at me. I'm not jealous. People that, was, that was a good fight, still. So. Uh, people get jealous of you? Why? No, I'm not jealous of you. Because I always, I always win. And uh, well, because, I, because, people, people, because people say that I always win. And I'm uh, always better than him at everything. Even a sport? Yeah, even uh, even the price, even the 
You should though play I'm, us in ball. Even when I when you should I, play us in ball. But you, you don't like the, you don't like to lose. No, no, no. I just it's not that I like to lose. I it's just it's just I never lose like in the you know in the combat before. <laughs> You never lost before? I never got beat I never got I never got beat up. <laughs> you know in the real fight I never got beat beat up before. I never oh, got beat up before. I, I bet it's someone. Because everyone says I was the toughest. So then I beat up strong people. <laughs> the toughest. Uh, unity, stick together. It's good to work together. Stick together. Brothers and sisters, to stay tight. Stick together. When I grew up, I grew up with a lot of Europeans, Portuguese, and Italians, and I noticed they were very tight in family. And I, that attracted, I love that. The unity, the kids stick together. If I'm gone or whatever happens to me, that they, they stick together as brothers and sisters. And it's a company. It's, it's something they can work together and make money. Now, here's the story behind, here's the story behind this mess. But this mess is a tradition that goes back, that started with James Brown. I've seen him do it. But I should clean it up. But it doesn't matter. Sometimes I don't have time. But well, what's more important is that the mic stays on the stand. And if it doesn't stay on the stand, if the mic is like this, I can't do this. Now with this, I can do this. That way the mic stays on the stand. So can I can we, throw can my mic. Can we see it again? Can, can we just? I can throw again? my mic all around, all around I want. I wouldn't be able to do that if the mic didn't stay on the stand. It'd be all over the floor. So I like doing mic tricks. Is that core work? We're entertainers, entertainers, showmen, and I think about that. So when I go on, when I go on TV, I'm not gonna stand there in one spot with crazy glue on my feet and sing a song. Hell no, I ain't gonna stand still. You're crazy. I'm gonna jump around all over the place like Mick Jagger and James Brown put together. You know. Yeah. That's just the way, you know, they do it, I do it, Prince does it, yeah. Michael does it, Usher, Usher does Beyonce. it, Beyonce does it, you know, I'm doing it. Yeah. They all do it. Elvis did eyes. it. Yeah. We can go back to the old guys too, even farther back mm -hmm. then. I got my kids um, growing up with old school music, you know, old is gold, you know, <laughs> as they say, right? And of course, as they get older, they start listening to, uh, you know, like I said, the, their stuff. Hip hop is their thing more than the old R&B, old soul, old rock and roll. Hip hop today, that's, that's, that's where they, you know, they want to listen to that a little more. You know, even that I did bring them up on old blues, funk, soul, rock, and jazz, but they're still, um, they can still run away more with the hip hop because that is their age and that's their era, right? So I, I can understand that, I can respect that. What do you guys get up to tonight? Like what do you do on a usual Friday night? Usual? Do you? Yeah, go party. Party, we usually huh? go party. Party, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we go party in. <laughs> no, but like, we usually just go off. Yeah, we usually just go off. 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 We usually And then we might like bump into some of our friends and say hi. So that's what we do. Odessa, do you believe that? Nope. <laughs> straight no. Let the record show. No, no. I do not believe. Show. <laughs> he said, "Let the record show." Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she was going to "Let the record show." No, no, no. Nope. no what? She doesn't believe. The, I don't believe where that. Where they go? The party. Who? It, it does matter. The kids. What you do because yeah. Well, yeah. They, they need to be safe. The truth. No, they need to be safe. They're musicians. Call me. You're never round now. Cause you're fool with every guy all over the town now. Tell me, girl, tell me what's your name, man. Cause last week, you told me what's marriage ain't good to go. Why don't you come in a moment? Why don't you call me? Why don't, why don't you come in a moment? Why don't you call me? Why don't, why don't you come in a moment? The four of them mm -hmm. sent right that's here. A, I know that's a couple. If they, if I drop dead tomorrow, they can still pick up their equipment and go and play a gig. They have that, right? They have they that now. Yeah, they have it. They can always do that. Yep. You know, um, fortunately, you know, there's a lot of kids that don't have that.
after this incident around the corner, I'm ready to really get going now, man. Just around the corner with a uh, 18 year old getting shot again. Oh yeah. It's like, yeah. Well, they think it's the, they, they, it's they the, went right into his home. Yeah, that's the, they, they, you guys heard yeah. about it, right? Yeah. They went yeah. right into his home. Yeah. And they knock on people's doors next door. And people go, I didn't hear or see nothing. Do you blame them? Yeah, because uh, you, know, yeah, mm-hmm. you want to be able to go to the grocery store and come back, right? Yeah. Go to the laundromat and come back safe. You, know? you guys knew him, man. Yeah, yeah. I, knew. I seen him on Monday, actually. Serious? Yes. Yeah. And he died on no, Monday. No, actually, I seen him on Sunday. And he died on Monday. His father's, like, relieved. Right on the news, just looking on YouTube, his father's like, yeah, he's a troublemaker. He sells drugs. I told him this is going to happen. You live by that, you yeah. go by yeah, that. Fa- yeah. They're like, you run to everybody in Toronto is shocked. Like, that his father's, like, saying, he didn't listen to me at home. Yeah, because his he father's was, fed up. Yeah. He's, it's, it's like he's, he's just, because he, he tried. He spent all the, all the years chasing him on the street. Go, he used to see him, remember? He used to, he used for to my come son. here and look for him. Yeah, I'm looking for him. He's ripping and running the streets, wants to be a big shot, wants to, you want to be a thug? Well, there you go. That's why I keep doing this with them. This is what I keep doing. I do what I know. This is what we got to do over and over. I don't care how sick and tired I get of this. This is better than going to a funeral and putting my hand up top of a, a casket. I'd rather have our hands up top of this than a casket. This is, this is what keeps us going, right here. And hopefully they can live, they will live doing this. You know, I sound like a tape recorder repeating myself, but when I see guys getting popped around here, you know, within two months, two gone, and the next, who knows what's gonna happen next month or after the new year, that's, this is, the, this is the reality of what's happening in our city, Toronto. And it's really sad, it's sad. That's why it'd be nice to, uh, to, to, have, to get my children moving up. You know what I mean? So ladies and gentlemen, we're here every Wednesday night. Every Wednesday, we're here at the Imperial Pub. Every Wednesday night, we come out here. It only costs $2 to get in, man. All you gotta do is throw $2 dollars in the jar as you walk in. And, and make sure you come and be funky. Now, now, there's a rule, there's a rule I have. Okay, I don't like people sitting down too long. But you gotta undo your seatbelt, and you gotta let everything go, and forget about everything. And when you come in here, man, you just dance your ass off. One, two, three. Oh, baby. I want you back. I want you back.